Okay, let's start uh, the next start on the next task one, which is the graphs without a time period. Okay, because uh, a graph that has no time period, you will not talk about. You will not talk about describing changes over time because there's no time. It's only one year. So everything you talk about, you know, all the phrases that I've given you here, fluctuation, you know, there was a period of stability, increase, decrease, etc., etc. You're not going to use it in this graph because there's basically no time period. There's just one year. So you can't use those, okay? So that's the reason why we talk about this uh, differently. That's the reason why we use we, we separate this into a different category and we have different phrases and we approach it differently. That's why it's in the second category. Okay. So just take note, even though it may look the same, the difference is that there is no time period. It's only one year. Okay. So an example would be this. There's only one year, 2010. All this, you know, this looks like a, uh, um, you know, it looks like it's talking about time, but you have to look carefully what this is. This is different uh, products in a bakery. Okay. It's not about the years here. Okay. Okay. So how do we approach this? Firstly, you're going to compare within each category. All right. Um, so when we have something like this, let's make it smaller. Okay. You're going to compare within each category. That means it could be the, f the first versus the last category within a subject. For example, don't like, okay, here you have uh, lovely Lowe's and Bernie's buns. You have different products. You have the number of items sold. So you have different categories like cakes, cookies, etc. You're going to compare. You're going to think about the first and the last. Okay. So within uh, the category of, say, Bernie's buns, you're talking about the first and the last. All right. Um, and you're going to compare across the subjects. Uh, so, you know, you sometimes you may want to don't just, you're not just going to compare the category, the, the, the cakes, cookies, etc. within Bernie's Buns or within Lovely Loaves, but you're going to compare the products in, Love, in Lovely Loaves versus the products in Bernie's Buns. Okay. So, for example, here it says, the first category versus the last category within one subject example don donuts were the most popular uh, product sold by lovely loaves and toasted sandwiches were the least so it's talking about lovely loaves within it what uh you know the uh which is the first which is the last or you could compare across subjects which means you're comparing products in lovely loaves versus products in bernie's buns for example lovely loaves sold more than three times as many salads as bernie's buns okay three times as many salads as bunny buns. So you're comparing across, right? So, okay, um, this is pretty much what you have to do because you don't, you remember, just imagine you, you, you just have the, you don't have the changes over time, you just have the comparison, all right? You just want to talk about compare within uh, each subject, okay? So let's do this introduction. Again, you just paraphrase the chart gives figures for the sales of blah, blah, blah. You just paraphrase that. Overall, it can be seen that donuts were the most popular item in both bakeries. Okay. So what are you doing? You're doing first, the first number one. Okay. That's an overview. Again, remember, as I say, what you do in an overview, it is a big picture. Imagine you have just one or two sentences to tell your friend who cannot see this, what is the most important thing that kind of like summarizes everything well, to the best. Uh, of its ability to summarize the, the whole chart or the whole graph, you could say the first. Okay, so donuts were donuts were number one among um, in both Lovely Lows and Bernie's Buns. Okay, um, then you go to body one, body two. Again, you have the choice how you're going to divide. You have to make a decision how you're going to divide body one and body two. What you could do is here, body one, I focus on Bernie's buns. Body two, I focus on Lovely Lows. Okay, so I go Bernie's buns. For the Bernie's buns, nearly 140 donuts were sold every Saturday. The figure was, Bernie's buns, blue color. The figure was about seven times more than the number of salads sold. Okay, why do I compare it with the salads? Because the salads is the least. Okay, the second and third best selling item uh, was cookies and cakes. Cookies and cakes. Um, at around 118 and 102 items sold respectively. 
Rose and Chris both sold equally well at above at above 70 items. Okay. Now, what I want you to take note of is here. Um, did I talk about every single category, every single product there? No, you don't have to. Okay. Remember, you make a decision. You make a. You can. You don't have to. But I talked about the first. I talked about the last. I compared how many times. I talked about the second and third, and I mentioned at 118 and 102 respectively. And I talked about similar. So equally well. You see, all these are comparative equally well. So equally well. All these are comparative terms, at above 70, items. Okay, and then so I talk about first, I talk about last, I talk about similar, and then I could talk about differences. Okay, going to the second one, second paragraph, go to Lovely Lows. Lovely Lows sold nearly 10 fewer donuts than Bernie's buns. Okay, so now I'm comparing also across. So yeah, this is number one, but do you see that Lovely Lows sold about 10, nearly 10, or it could be probably slightly more than 10. Okay, I would say nearly 20, probably, right? Nearly 20 fewer donuts than Bernie's buns at around 120. Okay, uh, so I'm comparing across. All right, it's lowest, then I compare within because when you say it's lowest, it's really you're saying that yes, you're comparing within um, the subject, the subject being um, lovely lows. It's lowest selling item was toasted sandwiches. Okay, 22. All right. While Bernie's Buns, now I compare across again. While Bernie's Buns sold more of more of most of the items as compared to Lovely Lows, because if you look at all this, Bernie's Buns sold more of almost all items. Lovely Lows sold slightly more fresh lows. Fresh lows, you see? You see, you see when, I t when I talk about taking note of the significant or the main features. Here's a main feature. In everything, and I'm pointing it out, in everything, almost everything, um, you know, Bernie's Buns sold more than Lovely Lows, but except love, for Lovely Lows sold slightly more fresh lows, okay, 50 to 40. Furthermore, in addition, another thing, Lovely Lows, another thing in which uh, Lovely Lows sold more than Bernie's Buns, uh, Bernie's Buns is, furthermore, Lovely Lows sold more than three times the number of salads as compared to Bernie's Buns at around 62 and 18 respect. So this is huge. This is huge. Okay. Um, everything else, Bernie's Buns sold more than Lovely Lows, but here, except for this and this, which, uh, sorry, except for this fresh loaves and this and salads. Salads is very important. Why? Not only did Lovely Lows sold, uh, did Lovely Lows sell more, um, Salads than Bernie's buns, but it was more than three times more. Okay, that's huge. Okay, get on your. I mentioned to you. Think about the significant and points, the main features. Think about yourself, maybe as an investor, um, or whatever it may be. And the first thing you you know you whatever you don't talk about are things that strike you. First. The last, it's a similar, the difference, and this difference is important. The fact that it's three times, not only is it three times, but it, it goes against everything you know that everything else represents, which 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 kind of like tells you that um, Bernie's Buns uh, sells or sold more items than Lovely Lows for the for the similar item. But here, it is not just that Lovely Lows sold more salads than Bernie's Buns, but three times more that's huge that's something that you have to talk about and same for this because this is the other odd one out um in in terms of the fact that uh lovely lows sold more fresh lows than bernie's buns even though it's only just a bit more 10 more but this is still an odd one out so significant it's significant okay so here you can see we are talking about comparing within comparing across we think about the first the f last similar and difference okay so that's a huge difference here Okay, um, we always we talked about the first, we talked about the last. Okay, we talked about the last salads. This was the last. Okay, then we talked about lowest selling item, the last. Okay, then we compared across also. Okay, so this is uh, everything's about comparison here for the second kind of uh, graph. No changes over time anymore. No phrases that we a lot of the phrases that we learned in the first task one can't be used here. So it's all about comparing. Okay. 
it's all about comparing like that do it your own way everybody's gonna do it differently um, you know there are, there are many ways of dividing your body one and body two there are many ways of talking about the overview like just now I, what, what I talked about the overview you know what I wrote for the overview is that donuts were the most popular items but um, another person could could write again this is not wrong because the examiner this there's no right or wrong okay as long as you're following the principle so another student could write that um, Bernie's buns sold more items than lovely loaves yeah in general if you add out all this isn't it true that Bernie's buns sold more items than lovely loaves yeah even though this was much higher here but if you add it all together generally you're seeing that Bernie's buns sold more items than lovely loaves correct so there are different ways of Approaching the overview, there are different ways of approaching the body. Okay, think about the principles. Okay, of comparison. All right.